adding forms to your Convertry pages is easy and fully customizable. There are two elements to every form. Form inputs, which are the elements you drag onto your page for your prospects to enter their details, and the behind the scenes forms configuration. It's a good idea to configure your forms before you add input elements to your page. There are three ways to do it, API, HTML, or email. Form APIs let you connect to popular services for easy integration. HTML lets you embed your own form code. And email lets you send submitted form information to your account email. To set up an API form, click on the Forms button in the top toolbar. And in the Configure Forms dialog, click on the type of service you want to integrate, autoresponder or webinar. Then choose your service from the menu. If you haven't integrated your service already, you'll be prompted to open integrations in a new tab. You can integrate your services or remove them at any time by heading to the dashboard and clicking Integrations in the left-hand menu. Now, depending on the service you connect, you'll be prompted to choose the list you want your form to add prospects to. Connect the form fields in your service to the form inputs you'll add to your Convertry page. When you select a field type here, that's the field the information will be entered into in the autoresponder or webinar service. If you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the Properties panel when your form input elements are selected. Some form fields are fixed, so they cannot be changed. When you're done, click on Thank You Page URL to enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they cl click Submit. When you're done, just click Done. You can connect both autoresponder and webinar services to one form to sign up prospects to both lists at once. Simply repeat steps two to five to add another service. Your form is connected to your page and you can now add form inputs. To set up an HTML form, click on the Forms button in the top toolbar and in the Configure Forms dialog, click HTML Forms, New Form and then Form from HTML Code. Give your form a name, then enter the HTML code for your form. Click Create. Then click on the small arrow to the right of your form name to connect it to the page. When you're done, click Done. Your form is connected to your page and you can now add form inputs. When a form is successfully connected to your page, a red check will appear on the Forms button in the top toolbar. To set up an email contact form, in the Page Builder click on Forms in the top toolbar. Then click Email in the left hand menu and toggle Email Notifications to On. Edit the subject line if you need. Email notifications will be sent from support at convertrynotifications.com, so be sure to add that to your VIP or contacts list. Click Thank You Page URL to enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click Submit. Then click Done. Once you've connected a form service, HTML form or an email form, it's time to add the form inputs. These are the elements your prospects will interact with on the page. In the Page Builder, click on the Form Elements button in the Elements tray. Choose the input you want to add first and drag it onto your page. In the Properties panel, click Form Field Settings to map your form fields to the values you assigned when you configured your form service. Choose your field type to make sure the input is set to the form service correctly. If you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the Forms dialog. Choose whether this field is required and whether you want the field validated, i.e. as a real email address.
Credit card input form elements are already mapped to your payment processor settings so they don't need to be configured. Note, if you've got more than one form entry field on your page with the same type, Convertry will send the one that has the most data in it. So, if you're using an API, you can have multiple forms on your page all attached to the same list, and Convertry will always send the data from the one that's been filled in. Finally, to complete your form, you'll need a Submit button. So, click on Form Elements in the Elements tray and drag a Submit button onto your page. With your Submit button selected in the Button Settings section of the Properties panel, choose Sign Up from the Mode drop-down menu. You can also change button text, colour and other options here in the Properties panel.